Brian Kay from The Unconventional Advisor and co-founder of The Advisor Accelerator. And today, I wanna keep it relatively short and sweet and right to the point. And the title of today's uh, training is gonna be Your Input Equals Your Output. So what do I mean by that? Most advisors and most just businesses, professionals, salespeople, all complain about the same thing. I would love to have more clients. I'd love to generate more revenue. I'd like to have shorter selling cycles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, when you throw like COVID into the mix and the inability to meet with people face to face and having to do it virtually, it all comes down to the same thing. Everyone wants to grow their business. Everybody wants to grow their income, their profits and get more clients, et cetera. But when you ask them like, what's your plan for doing that? most of the time their focus is in the wrong place and they'll talk about things like you know if i could just get in front of more people um if i could figure out how to close more of the people that i'm seeing if i could figure out how to shorten the the selling cycle right and they go all the way it's actually too distant from where the real source of their problem is the real source of the problem is their input is what creates their output it's like what are you dumping in the top of the filter that leads to the client relationships, the long-term relationships, the revenue and everything else. So how much activity is going into your machine that feeds your calendar? So let's start with how many workshops are you doing per month, right? How many attendees are showing up? How many people are you inviting to generate the attendees? Like we could talk about what topic, we could talk about how starving is the market, but once you figure those things out, the next question becomes really a math question. How many people in that target market are you inviting to come to your webinar, to your live event, etc.? If the numbers aren't in your favor, then you're never going to win this game. So, you know, if you want to get 20 attendees, the question is how much traffic and spend do you need to do on Facebook to do that? How many letters do you need to drop to do that? And can you do it cost effectively? And then it's just a matter of scale. You know, if, if I know that for in the range of $1,500, I can get 30 to 50 RSVPs every single time I do that, right? And of those, 20 to 30 of them will show up on my webinar. And of those, 10 plus of them will book an appointment. And of those 10 plus booked appointments, I'm going to to sign up about two to three of them as clients within the first appointment, right? Those, that's my math. So then the question becomes, how do I grow that model? Well, the next step is, okay, if I know I can do that for $1,500 and I know that at the other end of that, I'm generating somewhere between ten dollars and $20,000 every time I put in $1,500, how can I do that once a week? right? Maybe I can do that twice a week, right? So it becomes a multiplier. Like what if I were to invite a group of people, the same numbers for $1,500 every single week? Well, that machine would pump out ten dollars to $20,000 a week. So now I'm at forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month. And then it's like, well, what if I added other reps or advisors to that machine and had them either running the virtual workshops, or maybe I do all the virtual workshops and then I have people who act as closers or enrollment specialists running the appointments, right? Or agents running the financial services appointments. What does that look like? Maybe instead of doing one a week, I could do two, three, four of these a week, right? As long as for every $1,500 I put in, ten dollars to $20,000 gets pumped out of the other end of that, it's kind of a no-brainer, right? Sky's the limit. It's how much input do I want to put into this machine to generate that output? So the big idea for all of you is, are you doing enough? Are you feeding enough into the top of the funnel? Are you doing enough workshops? Are you doing en enough webinars? Are you sending enough emails or text reminders or how, whoever and however big your universe is, depending on if it's consumers, businesses, etc. Much of the, the limitations that we place on the growth of our practices and our businesses is completely related to the amount of input that you're putting into the machine and how big you're choosing to scale, how many people you're communicating with, 
right? And as long as you know, like, for example, I know that we always end up looping back, but it's the easiest example for me to give with the college planning and college funding community or business model, you're talking about 5 million approximately families every single year who have sophomores, juniors, first half of the year seniors in high school across the country that desperately need to figure out how do I send my children to college? How do I get them into the school of their choice? How do I pick the best school for them where they'll graduate on time? How do I give them the best shot of getting in? And then how do I pay for it? And how do I pay for it without derailing my cash flow and my lifestyle and also like completely derailing or getting rid of my financial nest egg, right? So I can retire one day. So here you have a very large group of people, 5 million of them, right? And if I say, hey, I know that in my business, I want to add an extra 30K a month. And I say to you, okay, well, great. If you will run a workshop um, three times a month, an average workshop should pump out somewhere in the range of ten dollars to $20,000 per workshop. You're going to end up with two to three new clients per event. Those two to three new clients are going to be worth three to $10,000 each. And you do the math on that, right? How many would you like to do? If we're, we're averaging about ten dollars to $20,000 per event, and you do three of those events per month, you're at least at your thirty k per month, right? So let's do it. Let's promote your three workshops. You'll run the appointments. There should be somewhere between five and 15 appointments per event. You should sign up two to three new clients per event. It's a math equation, right? If you want to go beyond that, you can add another one. That's 40K a month. If you want to start adding reps and enrollment specialists, we can do six, seven, eight of these a month, which some of our advisors do. So the big idea behind scaling a business is people are overcomplicating it. They're trying to become incredible salespeople, close every person that they meet with. The, the difference is when I have an unlimited flow of people on my calendar, I don't need to do high pressure sales techniques. I don't need to work with people that aren't good fits. Um, we, we, we don't need to do anything because just like a doctor's office that's packed all day, every day with patients, you know, the, if it's not something that I can help with, I'll refer them to somebody else or say, this isn't a good fit. And then it's next, you know, come on in the office. Let's talk. Do you have a problem that I solve? If the answer to that question is yes. Great. Would you like my help? Great. Here's what we charge. Here's the next step. Would you like to move forward? If the answer is yes. Great. If the answer is no next, next appointment, that's the answer to 99% of the problems that most people have with scaling a practice. So that's the big idea for today. If you would like more information on this, you have a couple of options. Number one, you can um, check out our 60 minute masterclass at www.starvingmarketspecialist.com. You can sign up there. You can listen to it. It kind of downloads exactly how we do this and give you the capacity to become a starving market specialist by becoming a college planning specialist. And then also how to use our three step method for driving people who are hyper qualified that are feeling urgency to send children to college to your workshops or your webinars, how to book five to 15 of them from each event, how to sign up two to three of them as college planning clients worth three to $10,000 each immediately, and then how to maximize the lifetime value of those clients. So that's step one. Um, if you're in a more urgent mode or this really connects deeply with you and you'd like to have a, a text chat with me personally, we are putting together a small group of successful financial advisors and agents that are looking to become college planning specialists and add at least two to three new college planning clients worth three to $10,000 each before year end. And that, that's a whole goal of this group. If this is something that you would be interested in being considered for, then you can text me at 248-453-6360. And I'd be happy to give you more details on that group. Um, you can also ask me any questions that you have. And that's pretty much it for today. If you like today's video or insight, I'd love it if you give me a like. If there's an advisor that you think might, be, uh, might, might get benefit from this information, if you could share it, that'd be awesome. And... 
Otherwise, if you have any comments or questions or anything that you'd like me to cover on future editions of this, please just let me know. All right. Otherwise, signing off, it's Brian Kay, the Unconventional Advisor, and I look forward to our next session.